I'm glad to see that the ukulele is being used, one that I made. So it's a five o'clock start, just have a drink and off we go on that motorbike with a couple of guitars to repair. Now for about a 27 or 6 or 7 hour journey ahead of us. So here we have a couple of guitars. I did a 27 hour journey uh, to bring them back from a, an indigenous group to repair them for them. This one will need an entire new front and this one the bridge popped off and they bolted it back on and then it um, just ripped back off again so it'll have to be glued back down and a uh, total revarnish of both. This one I have taken the strings off, uh, taken the bridge off and um, I'm having to glue that rib across there back up on because it got dinged in there so I'm bringing that back up flush and starting on um, sanding it off. This one I have cleaned up all of the rubbish that's off it um, and also fixing a crack, the fretting split there so we'll do that. And we've also got to remove the old lid from underneath the fretboard there. So we'll just sort of clean that out. So I cleaned up that groove there, put the supports back in, and I'll have to clean up all those edges there. But now I'm basically ready to uh, get the top ready, which is um, some boards glued down the center, and ready to plane it off to the two millimeters that I'll need to glue to the body. Next step with this one is the bridge. Now because it's had so much damage done to it, I'd like to give it a bit more support. So I'm going to put some patches on the inside, um, just like that, uh, between the ribs that are fanning out like that and I'll glue them from the inside to give it more support. And I managed to clamp that with a uh, luthier's clamp and a block on the inside, turn it upside down so that the block sits there, clamp it, and then I can turn it up the other way. There I have the, uh, the top plane down and fitting snugly underneath that fretboard there. But there are some things to do before we glue it down. One of them is on this side here is to put some ribs fanning out so that when I put that back on there, they're glued in place underneath the bridge. And because this is a guitar that's in heavy duty combat, if it receives any um, dings, you know, any hits at all, because this side is very thin, it's likely to crack longitudinally around the grain there. So I'm going to take advantage of the situation that the lid is off to be able to put some supports, some thin supports going down there to give support to the grain so that if it gets any hits it won't crack along the body. So there are some sticks to prevent cracking like did actually happen there. So hopefully that will help that. Next, the ribs. Going to measure from the top here, uh, from the top here down. Make a mark there to know where that rib is. Similar on the other side there. Flip it over. Make a line across. So there's my line there, so that I can then put one, two. I think this one's going to have five. Some have seven. They'll fan out like that, stick them on. I will need to find the center of the, uh, the sound hole to make that, so that I can get a clamp in to clamp that down properly. Uh, so I get a, a bar like that and I'm going to, on the circle, make a series of lines which will find an offset point here 
but you can see it's not centered. So we go on the other side of the ruler to get the other offset. So we're going to get two lines here and here equal and then halfway between that which is down my center line that will be the center of my circumference there of my circle and that will mean, mean I can get my circle correct. Now I'll cut the hole a little smaller than I need to so I can ream it out later so but I do need the hole to be able to clamp. Going to apply some glue. I've also applied some glue on the top of that. Now I've put a couple of little sticks here just to keep them off there while I slide that in. clamping on. Now with a knife I'm just going to start peering that back and then sand it back with sandpaper. Now to attach the bridge. I've glued it down there and to put some pressure on it uh, in a room with a reasonably low ceiling. Got some thin sticks, two sticks, clamp them together with a couple of clamps uh, where's the other one? There, there it is. There and there. And then you give it a little bit further out, then bend it and move it in. And that'll put some pressure down onto the bridge. Now for this one, I'm going to use a knife and carefully cut round that hole to enlarge the sound hole and then sand it nice and neat and tidy. So this one is ready for sanding and painting. And this one is ready for a bridge. So first I'm going to find the center line, which is right down the joint because I had that nice and centered. Then I'm going to measure from the nut to the 12th fret, 13 inches there. And then exactly the same amount down to here to give me where my bridge is going to go. Then I'm going to measure out perpendicular to that, so I've got a line for where the bridge is going to go, and the bridge itself is going to sit on that, but the bridge here is, has to line up with that line, not the front of the bridge uh, housing thing. It's going to be the bridge right through here, and centered of course, so it's going to go there. And now to the varnishing. Um, I've been taking quite a while to get the varnish on because it takes like one coat a day and at least 10 coats and so it takes a while but it's getting close and I'll be finishing that one soon as well. So now the uh, test time we varnished the, the them both and this is the one that we changed the lid with and what does it sound like? change uh, I fixed the bridge it had popped off so we did that one buzz on one of the frets right need to be fixed but there they are now we've only got to try and figure out how to get them back to the indigenous community two days from here but they're done <laughs> <laughs>